Hey y'all, how y'all doing? So I thought I'd drop in for a little evening chat about this uh little terrorist in my opinion. Y'all, I've just now seen that picture of uh male therapist um posing for, you know, posing in that picture with my tail. I heard about it, but I'm just now getting around to seeing the actual photo and it just didn't sit right with me. It just didn't sit well with me. Of course, you know, she can take pictures with whomever she wants, but why would you be posing for pictures with that clown of all people? I'm not sure where, you know, this picture first surfaced. I don't know if, you know, Martell had it in his stories or whatever. I kind of remember vaguely someone saying that it was on the Love and Marriage Huntsville IG page. I'm not sure. Either way, it just didn't sit well with me for several reasons. When I see his stupid looking ass smiling in a picture, it just disgusts me. Okay. I wonder who initiated the picture. You know, did she ask for it or did he ask for it? Both scenarios are believable because there are pick me ass women all over the place who would love to be seen in a photo with Martel, even though he is the kind of guy that he is. These women still would want to be associated with a narcissistic, ignorant, lying, cheating, scamming ass bastard, in my opinion. And it's sad. And you know, if he's seeing male therapists, of course, you know, he want her to know about it. You know what I'm saying? Can you imagine going through something as traumatic as being with a guy for almost 14 years or whatever? You done married him, gave him four babies, helped him, you know, help build him into the man that he desired to be, help clean him up, had him living good, come to find out that he's been cheating on you for years and um, went and got one of the chicks that he was cheating with pregnant. So now he's tied to the hoe for at least the next 18 years. Okay. So there's no working it out because you'll be damned if you have to put up with a slow ass, disrespectful, ignorant ass, unraised ass little girl for the next 18 years. So you're forced to walk away from your marriage, a marriage that you thought was going to be forever. Okay. You're forced to uproot your kids from their home because he refuses to leave, even though he's the one that ruined the marriage. You have to dissolve all businesses that you built with him and start all over with four kids. Then you finalize a divorce so that you can begin the healing process, which isn't easy because a divorce is like you're going through several stages of grief. So you go looking for a therapist, which isn't easy because you have to find the right one for you. Then you find the right one for you. And then all of a sudden, you see your ugly ass, milk dud head ass ex-husband smiling with the lady that you've chosen as your therapist. The lady that you rely on and have relied on to help you through your healing process so that you can be healthy and functional, okay, for yourself and your kids. You look up on social media and see your therapist smiling in a photo with your trifling ass ex-husband, who's the reason your ass is in therapy in the first place. So you're probably thinking like, okay, what am I going to do now? Because ain't no way I'm going to continue to see this lady when she's now, you know, dealing with my ex-husband. The person who wakes up in the morning thinking about the many ways he can terrorize me because I wouldn't remain in a marriage with him and let him continue to treat me like I wasn't his wife. Like I wasn't the bitch who was helping him read with our kids' Dr. Seuss books. Imagine that. I don't know if Mel called the lady up to inform her that she would no longer be utilizing her services, but more than likely I feel like she has because I can't, you know, see Mel continuing to see the lady knowing that her ex-husband is now seeing him. And it's very unfortunate because like I said, she probably felt like, you know, that particular therapist was just right for her. So I'm thinking that now she has to go through the process of finding someone else to help her with her struggles because I'm sure that she has them. Because like she said, every day in a good day, I think around the time her mama called upon prayer warriors is when I first heard the chatter about Martell using male's therapist. This is one of the many reasons why I look at Martel as a fucking terrorist. He lives and breathes, in my opinion, to make his ex-wife miserable. It's like he does not want her doing well at all without him, not even mentally. For him to go and link up with his ex-wife therapist, out of all the therapists in the world, that just shows that he is determined to do everything in his power to make his ex-wife you know, her life miserable. And I feel like he knows damn well that he is not committed to change. The only thing he's committed to, in my opinion, is terrorizing male. And, you know, if I was him, I would retire from that because that particular profession ain't putting a dime in his pockets. He broke, busted, and disgusted, and yet he's doing nothing to better himself.
One would think that, you know, if Martel was going to therapy and he was real about it, he would seek a um, male therapist because he would probably feel that a female therapist, you know, would see through his bullshit and a male therapist would probably understand him more. However, that's not necessarily true. Dr. Francis was a male therapist and he told Martel about himself, okay? He wasn't sugarcoating shit. I can see... Martel seeking out a female therapist as well because he may feel like he can seduce her into telling him what he wants to hear. That's why I said that I wouldn't be surprised if Martel and the therapist actually started messing around once he, you know, gets done with Sheree. And he don't even have to be done with Sheree because it's not like Martel is a one woman man. In my opinion, he needs several women to make him feel like the man that he ain't. You know, he needs constant around the clock ego boost. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of these women out here, sadly, don't mind being that for him in exchange for some dick or ass eating sessions. But anyway, I can't see Mel continuing to see that particular therapist. You know, there was talk about her being um, a own hired therapist, but I can't see Mel using a the therapist that, you know, the other cast members use or someone that own put in place. But, you know, can y'all imagine having to deal with a nigga like Martel for the next 15 years when your youngest turn 18? It's like mind blowing that he is like, you know, doing the shit that he's doing and still expect her to take his ass back. It's just disgusting to me. He has a whole Sheree and a whole Ariane, the one he ruined his marriage for, yet he's still worried about what Mel got going on. If he indeed went to them kids' birthday party, you know, uh, Mariah and Boss Baby birthday party, uninvited, you better believe that he was not only trying to assert himself and let Melody know that, you know, he is going to do what he pleases, but he also came to get a glimpse of her new man, in my opinion. And it's like, what would be the reason? Like, what the fuck, you know, he going, what is he going to do? pull out his phone and get to recording again like he did when Mel was out with the other two guys and get punched in his motherfucking face? Because not every guy is going to allow you to just walk up on them and start recording. You know what I'm saying? They're not going to allow you to just start recording them all because you can't move the fuck on and accept the fact that your ex is done with your ass. He going to walk up on the right one and they going to knock his ass into next year. And I would love to see it because if you can buck up and get bouted bouted with a woman, I want to see you have that same energy with a man. And I'm still not over that. Like Mel had divorced him and, you know, she was out at a restaurant with a guy trying to enjoy a meal and he follows her there to record her. You know what I'm saying? Like for what? She not, she wasn't cheating on him like he did her. You know what I'm saying? They were no longer married. So what was the reason for him to pull up and pull out his phone and record it just makes no sense. And it proves that he's not well mentally, which is another reason why he should be granted custody of those kids. Clearly, he doesn't make good decisions for himself. So how can he make them for his kids? He don't like to follow rules and he has anger issues and so on. Yeah, if he showed up he, he to that party, he indeed wanted to see if her new guy was there and was going to add him to the list of men that he didn't want around his kids. But if he can introduce a whole damn baby to his kids who didn't come from their mama, then she can introduce her kids to the man that she's seeing. His ass would have been thrown the fuck out of there. I don't give a fuck if it was a public place. Harassment is against the law. And that's harassment showing up in my space when your ass ain't supposed to be there. Ain't no way I'm playing nice or taking it easy on a nigga who trying to take my kids from me. Bitch, I declare war because you got me fucked up. Every time you breathe wrong, I'm documenting it. If you got a PP loan, a PPP loan illegally, I'm telling. If you parked in a handicapped spot, I'm telling. I'm telling. If you buying a pack of smokes for your underage girlfriend, bitch, I'm telling. Your whole life going to be documented and brought into court. And I know that Mel didn't want shit from him, but ain't no way I would have, you know, I wouldn't have had his sorry ass on child support. And as soon as he fell behind in that shit, I would have brought it to court. I would have brought that to court as well so they could throw his ass in jail. If he got money to hire lawyers to try to take my kids away from me, then he got enough money to pay child support. Lawyers ain't cheap. 
they cost thousands of dollars just to retain. That money could be going to, you know, towards the kids. Then again, I wouldn't be surprised, you know, if Martell has a female lawyer and fucked her for her services. Because let's be real, Martell ain't got shit else going on, but it's looks in my opinion. And I personally don't find him attractive, you know, but I know that a lot of other women do. That's how he maneuvers through life, in my opinion, like the snake that he is using his looks to get him what he wants. And these women are ready and willing. And that's exactly why they ask us be walking around looking like sad ass ducks when a nigga get done dragging his ass through the mud because they cared more about what he looked like than who he was as a person. But I hope that um, Mel has the kind of guy that's, you know, going to put Martell in his place. And he going to hate that shit because, you know, he got a I do what I want to do mentality. And he already think he own Mel, in my opinion. A lot of niggas that, you know, a lot of niggas have that mentality where they think that, you know, they have some kind of lifelong rights to a bitch because he got kids with her. That's why, you know, after the relationship is over, they stay coming back. You know what I'm saying? And they can have a wife and they can have five girlfriends. It don't matter. They still going to step like y'all still together. And like, you don't have a right to move the fuck on and be happy with somebody else. That's got to be a sickness. I saw that, um, you know, he was having a birthday party for himself tomorrow, I think. You know, damn well, okay? He ain't inviting Ariane because peasants don't get to mingle with high-value men in public. And please know that I'm just joking about him being a high-value man because ain't nothing high-value about Martel. Not even his underwear. He probably got him from the local booster. But yeah, y'all. Y'all already know that, you know, he ain't going to have Ari on there. But Sheree may have her face in the place. To be okay with some shit like that is just sad. He out there partying with another woman. And then when he get done, he bring his ass to you for a quick nut. I just know, you know, when it comes to his outfit, I just know he going to pull up to his party with another one of uh, Mel's furs on. And some bootleg ass Stacey Adams. His shit going to say Stacey Abrams. Motherfuckers going to be like, when the fuck she started selling shoes? And y'all, when his birthday rolled around, didn't he say that he didn't want to make a big deal out of it? He just wanted to chill. But now here he go throwing off, throwing himself a whole ass party. You know what I'm saying? Two weeks after his birthday, Mel gave him a narcissistic injury. I'm going to tell you what it is, in my opinion. Mel gave him a narcissistic injury, okay, by not inviting him to that party. And now he's patching himself up by throwing himself a party almost fucking three weeks later after his birthday, right after he allegedly was not invited to his daughter's party, probably to make himself feel better. That's probably why I do it, to make himself feel better about not being invited to um, Mariah's party. I feel like Mel would have invited him to the kids party if, you know, he wasn't dead set on being an asshole 24 hours of the day. But since he can't act like he got some sense, you know what I'm saying? He can just see the kids when he see them and throw him, you know, throw them his own party. OK, but instead of planning them a party, Boss Baby and Mariah, like Mel did, he goes and throw himself one with his jealous ass. He jealous of Mel and his damn kids, in my opinion. Also. I can see Mel, you know, inviting him to the girls' party and him bringing Knox along, knowing damn well that Mel ain't trying to interact with the baby that, you know, uh, Ariane pushed out to destroy her marriage. I wouldn't put it past him. You know what I'm saying? You see what he did in Destin. You know, he was invited along for the vacation. Then he go inviting people that, you know, he know Mel don't mess with. And I say she... I. I I feel like calling Martell a she. I I just do. You know what I'm saying? Because Martell, he, he just have bitch tendencies. I'm sorry. He does. You know what I'm saying? It's just no getting around that. Just fucking messy. Cause he ain't got shit else to do with his time, I guess. It ain't like he working on something other than being a thorn in male's ass. And I saw that, you know, at this party, the cover of his um, Upscale Magazine article or whatever is supposed to be revealed. And I'm like, at this point, why is he still talking about this fucking Upscale Magazine article? 
where he had his ass up in there doing nothing but lying. How the fuck you didn't get Ariane pregnant until, you know, you and Mel was over when the girl done said multiple times that she has gotten pregnant by your ass multiple times throughout your marriage. She said that, you know, her and Mel was actually pregnant at the same time when Mel was pregnant with the third baby, which would be boss baby. You know what I'm saying? He's just a fucking liar. The article ain't nothing but bullshit. And the person who selected, you know, him without doing their research should be ashamed, in my opinion. Word is Sheree knew somebody from the magazine and that's how he got the article in the, that's how he got the article. Either way, that person must didn't give a fuck about the reputation of the magazine, the magazine. I mean, I don't know if people still buy magazines like that in the first place, but the ones that still do, you know, upscale gonna fuck around and lose their business, in my opinion, fucking around with Sheree and her homegirl, Martell. But anyway... And this party that he's throwing himself, once we see Sheree there, I feel like Ariane is going to make her appearance on live shortly after that, like she always does, you know, after, you know, Martel is seen out with Sheree to convince us that, you know, she's not bothered when she's very much so bothered. And if she ain't, she should be because of how easily he can be seen out with another bitch in public, but keep her hidden in the basement like the people under the stairs. She already been putting up a few things in her stories. That's usually what she does. She'll go MIA for a short minute and then come back and start putting things in her stories. And then within the next couple of days, you know, there she go on live looking stupider than she did the time before. Ain't no way I would be sitting at home letting a nigga shit on me, especially the nigga I've been riding for for damn near a decade. We all go through that young and dumb phase, but it's like, you're not young no more. So when you gonna stop being dumb? I mean, she ain't old either, but she ain't 20 years old. And just to think that, you know, she only like, what, four years younger than Mel? And tried to act like Mel was 100 years old, talking about she couldn't help it that Mel's husband fell in love with a young, fly chick. You mean young and dumb. And the only thing that was fly about her is the way she, you know, keep flying around the Internet, buzzing with bullshit. She'll go away for like two weeks and then come back trying to act like, you know, she's just this changed person. Like, I don't know what her and Martel be thinking. Well, they're thinking that people dumb, I guess, when that would be, you know, the dumb person would be the person that they see when they look in the mirror. And speaking of Ariane, y'all, she called herself making an IG page for Knox. But instead of calling him Knox on the page, like she told the world his name was Knox, right? She has it on his page that his name is Maverick Holt. So now his name is Maverick, y'all, after she went on an IG rant saying that, you know, that wasn't his name and asked Martel to stop calling him that. These motherfuckers are so exhausting and no one will ever take them seriously. Her or her baby daddy. And let's be real. And I know that this is going to sound harsh, but don't nobody want to see the baby that she had to help destroy a marriage. When she put that baby on social media, she know that these people be on there saying all kinds of nasty things. So why even subject your baby to that kind of scrutiny for a check? Because, yeah, people going to follow the page. They going to look, but it ain't going to, you know what I'm saying? They're not going to have nice things to say, in my opinion. So you honestly want thousands of people following your child's page just so they can say mean things because you his mama? Her and Martell need to stop trying to find bullshit ass ways to earn a dollar and go get real fucking jobs like regular people do and stop trying to use some kids for a check. Talking about some Maverick Holt. Martell and Ariane can call that boy Maverick, Milano, Matthew, Mason, Molecule, Marachi Band, Marriott, or whatever other name that start with an M. But that child will never be an M&M kid. He's an M&A kid. And for that reason alone, the child probably going to need therapy. So they need to be somewhere trying to, you know, focus on that instead of bullshit, in my opinion. 
<laughs> but that's all I had to say about these clowns, y'all, okay? So y'all take care, and I'll chat with y'all in the next one.